Today we're taking a look at a knife that has had quite a number of reviews done on it, box openings, whatever, on the YouTube, and that is the Civivi Relic. Yes, great knife. As all others before me have already said, all the specs on it and all the gloriousness of it and how great of a fit and finish and everything you expect from Civivi, including the fact that you definitely have some wee banter-esque uh, vibes going here on the back end, bottom end of the handle, of the scales there. <clears throat> great uh, stone wash, uh, black stone wash finish on a very, very nice uh, <clears throat> clip point type blade or drop point blade or modified whatever you want to call it <laughs> literally blade shapes are getting so much to the point of it's a modified something or another right <laughs> everybody's trying to do just their own little unique angles and curves on things so that it's just a hair less boring and more unique of a design than your standard uh, typical uh, shapes and lines so but at the same time this is a great knife in the fact that it is actually still yet very um, standardized in the fact that uh, full grip uh, just about any hand size is very comfortable um, plus or minus uh, how you feel about Civivi's deep carry pocket clip so, you know, that's uh, another battle in its own. And, you know, people who like it and don't like it, I'm not going to comment on that one. But, uh, yep, standard uh, flipper tab, great action, great blade, great knife, nitro V steel, deep carry pocket clip. But what I do want to talk about that nobody else is really, really, really mentioning. In fact, Blade HQ totally bypassed it when they first uh, showed this on uh, on their YouTube channel. Is this sweet son of a gun? Oh my gosh! It is a set of tweezers, and it's a full size, well, close to a full size set of tweezers. Unlike your typical uh, Victorinox sack. Uh, Swiss Army knife uh, type tweezers that are a good bit smaller and not as quite as robust or durable. Um, you know, hey, they work in a pinch. Get it? Pinch, 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 pinch. Haha. Ha. All right, bad dad joke for the day. Sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. But yeah, so you know, obviously not your uh, glorified manicure kit that you get from. Uh, Walmart or whatever grocery store or convenience store. Um, the these are uh, my wife's and uh, yeah. But surprisingly, for the size and the shape, they did a pretty excellent job. I have to say, I went tested it for a day and a half on uh, just about everything I could think of that you would use tweezers for, besides your gross manicure. Uh, needs as far as uh, plucking nose hairs. I'm sure you appreciate me not showing you footage of me plucking my nose hairs. Uh, that would kind of gross you all out, I would think. Uh, they definitely work much better than these guys. Of course, everything you know serves its purpose in in its own capacity. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I thought about because I do like the design of these. Uh, having that angled uh, tip, if it would focus. Aha! Yeah, so you see how they've got the angled tip on these? Uh, so you get some amount of, of a pointy tip on one end of it. I thought about doing that uh, to these myself because they've very much so rounded them out a little bit, I guess for safety's sake. Who knows? Uh, but surprisingly, they work really well for pulling um, splinters out of your out of your hands. Um, you know, picking uh, dead skin off of calluses or whatever, or um, 
you know, grabbing nose hairs, it does just fine. My ginormously long nose hairs that I could probably braid if I wanted to. Just kidding. <laughs> They're not that long. But yeah, so uh, nicely well done uh, set of tweezers. Uh, of course, only time will tell, you know, how la long they last. I think they did, it had an ingenious idea in the way they uh, attached these two pieces of, of metal together uh, with this little curved tab so that when it goes into the uh, knife scale here, oop, you got to make sure that you get, this is weird doing this as I'm watching it through the camera but anyways yeah so you do it that way so that the tab is sticking out uh, up again not a hot spot it's it's still you know s smooth enough to where that's you're not gonna feel it at all when you're using the knife um, but sticking in that direction you do not want to put it the other way around because if you did that To where it's closing on that side it, it kind of just it goes right up against the liners and there's nothing to grab it's a pain in the butt to get out if you put it in that way so don't put it in that way pay attention to what you're doing and stick it in like so because uh, sure enough yep I can do it with my thumb I can bring it out with my thumb so it's 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 a neat uh, concept. It's a it's a neat idea. Um, I'm not totally sure uh, the practicality of uh, of having tweezers on a standardized um, flipper um, folding knife, but uh, it's it's kind of cool nonetheless. I don't know. Leave leave your uh, comments in in the comment section. You tell me whether or not you think that this is totally just a a, a ha ha gimmicky type uh, deal or if you actually like the concept um, I haven't decided for myself whether or not I am uh, tickled about the uh, idea of having tweezers in, in a folding knife like this or if it's just kind of eh, that's kind of silly gimmicky I, I haven't decided I'm not one way or the other about it quite yet uh, mixed feelings I guess but uh, we'll see over time whether or not I really truly find those as a useful addition to a standard folder. Wow, my camera's doing terrible today focusing. Anyways, so that's that. Um, oh, another thing to mention, as much as uh, people love their civivis, I love how this is uh, labeled as being burgundy. I'm not totally quite sure whether or not that is a burgundy red or a wine red or just a uh, a dark red. You know, I'm no Picasso. I'm definitely not painting happy little trees on my time off. So, uh, or a uh, a paint expert. But yeah, you tell me what kind of red this is what, what do you think it is like it matters I mean it's red it's a good looking red it, it looks great with the with the black stone washed uh, blade and um, and it's, it's an overall great knife a great user great everyday carry and uh, <laughs> set of tweezers in it who would have thunk right <laughs> alright so there's there's a, a, a further in-depth look at the tweezers on the Civivi relic and y'all have a wonderful day thanks for watching